Hi friends! So, in case a fascist president wasn't enough, last week the world also decided that I needed an emergency root canal. So I'm at like a standard issue dentist appointment and they're trying to take out this filling that I broke by basically spending six months doing the Arthur fist but with my jaw. And the dentist is looking at my x-rays like, so, we're gonna take this out but the hole is gonna go all the way to like the nervy part of your tooth, which is not great. So you're gonna have to go get that root canal. Can you do it this afternoon? The alternative is that my whole tooth just dies, just dies and then I have to get it pulled out of my mouth, so I guess I'm free. I go to the oral surgery place to get it done on a Friday afternoon at 4 p.m. So I fill out my paperwork and I go back and talk to the tooth surgeon and he's like, all right, you can get this done today or if you want to like take a sedative so you're not quite so nervous, I can prescribe you one and you can come back on Monday and get it done. Then I realized that he probably just wants to go home for the weekend, but I'm like, bruh, I've I've already got like a giant hole in my tooth. I just want to get this over with. So out come the needles, Novocaine, coming in hot in every direction. And the whole side of my face starts getting real numb. Like I can't actually tell if my eyelid is closing when I blink. I can feel my face when I'm with you. But I love it. But I love it. Oh. it disappears for a while to let it get all anesthetized, I guess. And the office, is by what I imagine is some sort of health code requirement, always playing journey. But look, I stopped believing like a year and a half ago, so I don't think it would really compromise the integrity of my gum health to play like a little Solange or something to get me through. And as I'm waiting, the receptionist comes in and says, so I'm gonna be gone by the time you're all done, so that means I need you to pay now. And when she hands me the bill, I'm convinced that this is part of the numbing process because they've already hurt me as much as I can hurt. But of course, the oral surgeon comes back and starts poking at my teeth. And I don't care how numb you are, it's not gonna stop you from hearing all of those awful metal scrapey sounds. Like, I can't even deal when someone is eating a salad with a fork and does that little... Like, I still feel it. I still feel it on my teeth and I'm so upset. So yeah, every little scrapey sound gives me like one of those full body shivers so that the dentist has to keep stopping and asking if he's hurting me, which probably added like a full 30 minutes to the appointment. So we're canaling and like every 10 minutes or so, somebody is leaving the office and stops to say bye to the boss. So they're like, bye, see you Monday. And he's like, have a great weekend, Karen, while he's holding a drill in my mouth. So I'm just glad that everybody else is having a chill time. So then he starts sawing. Pulling, I don't know, but like somehow removing the nerve part of my tooth out of my tooth and then filling it up with something. I don't really exactly know what that something is. But two hours later, I still have a tooth in my mouth, so I can't be too picky. And there's something about the process that's entirely exhausting. Like, all I was doing was laying there. Why am I so tired? But then I realized, once it's done, that I have been clenching my butt the entire time. Just two hours, just clenching. Which, you know, it's a big muscle group. It takes a lot of energy. And I only have one appointment left until it's totally fixed, but the moral of the story here is please floss and don't skip out on your dentist appointments because it'll only end in tears and like nothing but applesauce and cottage cheese for three and a half days. So tell me your dental horror stories in the comments. If you like this video, you can subscribe if you're so inclined. You can also find me on all my social medias in the links below. Consider if you haven't done my activism tag from last week, doing it and tweeting it at me. And I will see you next week. Bye.